Coach, uh, go down to Oxford, play Ole Miss tough, lose 38-13. When you went back and looked at it, what did you see that the Terriers did well, and what, what does Wofford need to fix? Well, there was a lot of areas that, that we did well, but uh, there was uh, too many that we did poorly. And uh, especially when you play a team as, as well-schooled as Ole Miss, as talented as Ole Miss, uh, offensively, I, I thought we did some good things. Uh, we tried our best to, uh, you know, maintain possession of the ball, run the clock, get our guys uh, on defense rested to when they went out there to uh, try to defend that, that hurry up offense. Uh, our first and second down uh, defense was outstanding all day. Uh, our problem was uh, third down defense, we, we couldn't get them stopped uh, except for a couple times. Uh, they're, they're really good. They're really good at what they do. But I, I really think that, that some of our guys could have played better and, uh, and we're going we're gonna to challenge them to play better. Uh, kicking game, uh, kickoff return, poor, poor. Uh, our punt coverage, uh, punters, snappers did an excellent job. Cover team did an excellent job. Our PAT, uh, David Martin had a great day. Uh, we, uh, we, we've got the makings of a really good team. It comes down to we've we got to show it on Saturdays. Uh, you can show what you want uh, Monday through Friday, but uh, the, the record book is determined by what you do on Saturday. And we're going to work to get better. We're going we're to stress the fundamentals. We're going to keep grinding away and, and becoming the team that I know uh, that is potentially there. Ole Miss has one of the best defensive lines in the country. How would you rate your offensive line's performance against them? I thought we won our, our share of battles. Uh, I thought Anton Warby had a great day. Uh, I think uh, Ross uh, had a great day. Uh, Demo, uh, Rue, Rue played well. Uh, we. Our guards, for the most part, played played pretty well. Uh, we, I think we we had our fair share of, of battles that were won up there. When you look at uh, having drives of 17 plays, uh, 13 plays, 12 plays, you know, we we afforded our defense a chance to rest uh, to keep their offense off the field, and you know if. Uh, it was a situation where we were going three and out, three and out, three and out, no, no telling what the score could have been. But, uh, it, you know, you're, you're always trying to work philosophically together as an offense, as a defense, and, uh, and kicking game as well. Get a home game. What's that going to be like to be able to tee it up in Gibbs Stadium on Saturday? Thank the Lord. I, I'm, uh, I, I'm tired of riding on a Natch Atchison bus right now. Uh, Love our bus driver, Joe, but uh, I've spent too much time with him over the past couple of weeks. Uh, the, the bus ride to Oxford was a, was a trip, and uh, it, it was a good trip, but it, it's a hard trip. I, I'll just say that uh, right out loud. When, when you're riding a bus that long, uh, it, it, uh, it can kind of get to you. But uh, we'll uh, get ready this week uh, for – a home game. Uh, love to see a lot of folks. Uh, I believe we're going to play well. I believe that uh, that we're going to make some progress this week and and get better. Uh, the thing I tried to emphasize to our guys uh, prior to playing Ole Miss, I said our goal is to get better. Our goal is each one of you guys play the best game you can play, and then the sum total will be either good enough or it won't. And uh, if there's areas that we need to get uh, better in, to correct, to uh, motivate in, then, then we've, we've got to discover those. We've got to find those. We've got to uh, locate those guys and, and then uh, and, and do uh, a self-evaluation of us as coaches on what, what didn't we do to help our guys be better than they were.
Johnson C. Smith comes into town, a Division II school. What do you know about them? What are they going to try to do on uh, offense and defense? Well, really, I, I don't know that much right now. Uh, we had a situation with our film and stuff like that that uh, the inner cut was a little bit off, and, and uh, all morning we were trying to, to fix the film. I've seen a little bit. Uh, I, I know they're athletic. I know they uh, they have some big kids, offensive line wise. Uh, they're uh, they're a team that uh, if you don't play well, they can come up and and they can get you. Uh, we we've got to be more concerned with us on what we're doing, how we're doing it, and. Uh, of course, we've got to understand what defense they're in and what offense that they're going to run. But bottom line is we, we've got to get better fundamentally. Coach, thanks for your time. We'll, uh, good luck this week. Thank you. All right, Rue, uh, coming off a game at Ole Miss. First of all, uh, SEC environment, something the Terriers get to play in every now and then. What was that like for you from a player perspective? Yeah, um, it was very exciting, obviously, uh, growing up in Columbia in an SEC environment. Um, you know, my family went to Georgia, so that's all I've ever known. So it was a lot of fun to um, finally get my own experience playing in the SEC stadium. Um, it was big, it was loud, but um, you know we were able to handle the noise and wasn't as loud as it was in Clemson last year. So that was that was nice. Speaking of big, their defensive front has some large guys that'll play on Sundays. What was that like for you and uh, and your teammates on the offensive line? Yeah, well, you know we knew going into it it was going to be a huge uh, challenge, and we saw, you know, watching them against go up against Florida State. You know, that Monday before that their defensive line was, you know, just having their way in the first half. And, you know, we knew that there was there was going to be not you no know, no easy snaps in this one. Um, but, you know, we embraced that challenge. We got a bunch of hardworking guys up front, you know, that love to you know, just love the fight. And so, um, you know, it was good. Where is the offensive line at right now? Um, you know, two games in through a camp as well. Where do you rate the, the line and, and what needs to improve? Yeah, well, you know, we obviously sat down with Coach Nash, watched the film last night, and we have a lot that we got to get better on. Um, just the ability to finish drives, you know, finish blocks, to, uh, you know, give backs that little bit extra hole movement to, you know, help them out. But, you know, it's it's promising. It was a great group, great group of guys up front with a lot of potential. Um, and we just got to keep working hard and keep getting better. I think it'll be a good one. One of the uh, drives on Saturday against Ole Miss, a nine-minute drive. What's that like from an offensive lineman perspective to be out there for for that length of time? Yeah, I mean it's I Miss mean, Walford football. That's uh, that's great, but you know it was long. It was tiring, um, you know. But we, we're ready for that. We're well conditioned. We've you know it's no stranger to that situation. We just got to be able to put the ball in the end zone. Um, you know, it was, it was a great drive, but doesn't do a whole lot of good if we don't get any points on the board or find the end zone. So it was disappointing, but we'll get better at it. You mentioned the conditioning this year, t- uh, training camp. Um, no two-a-days, and Coach Ayers added some music to the things. Talk about training camp and what it was like this year. Yeah, um, it was different for sure, and it was, you know, funny hearing some guys, you know, messing around with the freshmen like they don't know what a – they don't they'll never experience what a real Coach Ayers camp is. Um when you go out there at 9 a.m. and you get an hour nap, turn back around, it's 100 degrees and you're going again. Um, so it was it was different for sure. Um, it was a little weird getting used to. It's like we finished that first week of camp and I was just sitting there waiting. I was like, all right, it's time for two days now, but it just it never came. Um, it was you know it was still long, a lot of consecutive days of football in a row, no off days. Um, but it, I mean, it was good, and, and I mean we were ready come week one. Tell us your recruiting story. How did you end up here at Wofford? Uh, so, being from Columbia, obviously I knew about Walford, um, but never had stepped foot on campus or anything like that until senior year of high school, um, or going into senior year for the recruiting camp. Um, been talking to Coach Nash, and he came down to Hammond um, to a practice in the spring. And um, so I had some friends from back home that actually went to Walford um, as students, and so I went up to a game and, you know, just really loved the environment. Um, you know, got along great with the coaches, Coach Nash, Coach Ayers. Um, and that was pretty much it. I just fell in love with it. What's your major and what are you looking to do beyond football? I'm a business econ major with a religion minor. And, you know, you asked me the same question last year, and I wish I had a better answer for you. But I don't. But I still have a fifth year, so I got a little bit more time to try to figure that out. But, um, 
Yeah, hopefully it'll come to me sooner or later. Ruth, thanks for your time. Good luck this year. No problem. Thank you. JoJo Terrier's coming off a, a great effort, but disappointing loss at Ole Miss. Take, take us through that game from your perspective as a safety. What's it like playing an SEC team with that type of speed? Um, well, I'm not going to lie. It wasn't that much difference of a speed, if you ask me. I mean, um, they're a good team. I felt like we had some, some mistakes and missed opportunities, but they were a good team, and we should have just capitalized. It could have been a different outcome, but, hey, it is what it is, so. Now you got thrust into some playing time earlier maybe than you expected last year. Along with that comes leadership role. How have you embraced that, and what's that like for you becoming a leader on the defense at such an early age? Uh, the defense, they look for me for a lot of energy. You know, the coaches last year, after my first two starts, they were already saying the defense was different just because I brought a lot of energy. I think the, the vocal leaders on defense would probably be me and J.P. John Patterson. And he looks to me anytime the defense is down or we need to get hype and bring juice, as Coach says. So leadership, I mean, hasn't really been a problem for me, even though I like being told I'm the leader. So You said uh, we, before we started rolling, you played in high school, played quarterback, you played safety, you punted. You, just, you love this game of football, don't you? I love it, football. I've been playing since I was four years old, and it's just always been my dream to go D1 and hopefully go on to the league. Uh, just going to keep going. Talk to the, a casual fan. What are the keys that you have to do as a safety? What, what, how are you doing your job back there? Keys, definitely got to watch a lot of film, you know, seeing what's coming up, the receivers, um, favorite plays on uh, down and distance, quarterback, watching his reads, if he reads it at all, and just being in, the, in a position to make a play at all times. Tell us your recruiting story. How would you uh, end up at Wofford? <laughs> um Actually, Wofford was my only visit that I went on. I had a lot of – well, not a lot of offers, but I had offers. And I came with my official, and it was okay, you know, first night, just walking around. And then second day, took a, um, another tour, got to talking with Coach a lot. And then Coach sat us down, just the players and parents in the room. And he went on, and he was having a speech. And in my head, just clicked. I was like, I want to be a Terrier. And – that's when it was. I committed that, that Saturday night before. I just didn't tell anybody. And then Sunday, they were all happy. I uh, finally came up with Coach Ayers and committed. Have you decided on a major? And what are you thinking about postgraduate? Um, right now, kind of in between. Um, but leaning towards business economics for a major. But I still don't know for sure yet. So, JoJo, thanks for your time. Best of luck this year. Thank you.